Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Very important video for you guys today. More of a player of the month investing type video. We're looking at League One Uber Eats, right? League One Uber Eats isn't the name of that. That's the name of the league, right? Um, but their player of the month SBC that could be coming this month. We have three big time nominees that we need to talk about and possibly look through some investments for uh, because I think there's a clear cut winner here, but I want I want you guys to be prepared either way because of course, Ben Yetter is the front runner, is the headliner for this SBC. Uh, we had Victor Osimhen last month. It was a very, very cheap, very doable and a very good card, by the way. Uh, the, the last player of the month, SBC from the League One was fantastic. GG's to EA on that. And also today at the time of this recording, we just got Jamie Vardy. So they're giving out player of the month right now for basically free, it seems, with Vardy and Osman being great cards. These are the cards that we have to choose from this month for the month of October, player of the month. The voting nominees are Ben Yedder, Di Maria, and Tiago Silva with Ben Yedder being the front runner. Of course, he's probably going to win the fan vote because, I mean, at least in the FIFA community, if you voted for this card, or if you voted for anyone, you voted for this card because he is uh, one of the most overpowered and one of the most used players in FIFA 20. He is very, very good in this game. He links to just about everybody since he is French. He's got a once-to-watch card. He's been playing well in real life. I mean, hence him being nominated for this award. So I want to take a look at some investments today. We're going to assume that Ben Yedder wins. He has four goals on the month. Di Maria has two goals uh, and two assists, I believe. Uh, and Thiago Silva had a good month as well. But I think that Ben Yedder is going to be the winner of this month's award. And you know, this is an SBC that a lot of people are looking forward to. And a lot of people have already invested in. So we're going to take a look at a lot of stuff today on how you could get prepared for this SBC. And again, we talk about this all the time, but it really just depends on how EA values the SBC and if it's good to invest for. You know, we never know until the SBC actually comes out. That's the danger with investing in these SBCs, but a lot of people wanna get ready for it. So if you're planning on doing a Ben Yedder Player of the Month SBC, as long as it's under a certain price range, uh, I at least wanna get you, you know, sorted. I wanna get you all the requirements in your club with this video today helping you out so that you can do it for cheaper rather than possibly doing it after the fact that the SBC does come out. So right now, Ben Yedder's Inform card. This is how we kind of look to price these Player of the Month SBCs. Um, ben Yedder's Inform at the moment, I believe, is around 320,000 coins. Is that correct? It is over that price. He is back up 330,000 coins. He's been dipping a lot today with the road of the final uh, panic and stuff like that. He's around 330,000 coins and the ones to watch is even a step further, all the way above 400,000 coins. Now I wanna talk about this OTW card a little bit. 410,000 coins right now at the moment. And you got to see the, the rise in this card. 125K, he gets the inform, he shoots up, the card is rare, the inform goes extinct, so that means the ones to watch card get pushes, pushed up because it's still a live item. Everything with that, this card peaked at 422,000 coins uh, a few days ago on Sunday. I think that this card is a bit overpriced in my opinion. And I think this card is going to crash when the player of the month comes out. The only thing that would make this card not crash when the POTM SBC comes out is if they boost Ben Yedder to an 87, his, his player of the month is an 87, and that SBC costs over 600 or 700,000 coins. I think that's the only scenario that this OTW does not fall because other than that, I think people are going to go do the player of the month and they're going to sell this card right here because yeah people would pay an extra 100 200,000 coins for a plus 2 upgrade on this Ben Yedder card. So that's my only thing with this. I also think that part uh, part of the reason why this card's price is built up at 4 over 400k right now. I think part of the reason is people think it's getting upgraded when he gets the player of the month. That is not true. Player of the month items will not upgrade these live OTWs in game. The only thing that upgrades ones to watches are live in game performances, not SBCs or award winner cards. It's only going to be team of the weeks, heroes, man of the matches. Um, you're not going to see an upgrade on these OTW cards um, from a league SBC or even an advanced SBC. 
uh, that they would put out with, with these cards. So Ben Yedder's Player of the Month will stay in 85, okay? It's not going to move when the Player of the Month comes out. Excuse me, this OTW will stay the same. The Player of the Month will be the highest rated version, and that's why I think this card's going to crash. I think the Inform is going to crash because I think a lot of people are going to want to do this SBC. This is going to be one of the most in-demand SBCs that you're going to see uh, in this game if EA price it correctly. So let's get into some of the investments and some of the stuff that you can do to get ready for this SBC. Now, if we take a look at the Osaman SBC, um, for that SBC so far, or at least this SBC, the Osaman was the very first one. So we don't know, obviously we can kind of guess and kind of look and see, okay, this is what they usually require for SBCs in terms of players from that league, players from that nation, that team, stuff like that. So for the league, for the Osman SBC, all it was is an 83 rated squad and one player from the league one, which is basically, basically the same SBC that we got today for Jamie Vardy, except for the Osman card. And in a, instead of a prem player, it was league one. So I think this, um, this Ben Yedder SBC though is going to be a four part SBC and you're going to have to break a little bit of your bank to go out and do it. I want to take a look at a couple cards right now that I think you could start investing in um, some informs. Um, you know, of course, some League One informs are going to be whether you think this is a good investment for the actual player of the month requirements or you think it's just going to rise in the hype. These informs should rise up a little bit in the hype. Golovin, who has been definitely over this price. Let's go look him up on uh, Footbin really quick. This price has definitely dropped a little bit. People wanted this card right away early on to actually link to the uh, Ben Yedder card when they were starting the game. So Golovin's been chilling around 11, 12,000 coins. You can see that people started investing for this SBC after the voting started. He went all the way up to 14K and he's kind of dropped back down with the promo today with the, the UCL Live and um, Road to the Final promo. People have kind of sold off on their investments today. Um, if you can pick up a Golovin at around 11,000 coins, I'm a fan there. I think that could easily rise back up to 14 or 15 K before the SBC comes out. Um, if you're just looking to sell on the hype, that's what I would say to do with some of these informs. I think they're really going to find the cost in the, in the Ben Yedder SBC to make it the 400, 500,000 coin SBC that I think it should be. They're going to have to use a lot of higher rated squads, throw in some informs, um, and maybe even use brick slots. Um, we haven't seen too many of those yet this year in foot. So basically what a brick slot is, is they put a card in the squad for you that has a nationality and a team. And if they say an 86 rated squad, you're going to have to actually put some 87s and maybe an 88 in that squad in order to get the 86 rating. Because instead of 11 players to get you the rating, you're only putting 10 in the SBC. So you have to actually put higher rated players in, in order to get that uh, rating in the SBC. So I think we could see some brick slots, uh, maybe with like Ben Yedder's card at striker or center attack in mid with some Monaco, um, with a Monaco and with a French link right there. So that's kind of where I'm starting to think about this investing. Um, of course, Ben Yedder is from Monaco. He is in the league one and he is French. So that's where we start to look with a lot of our investing in the gold cards, because basically for every SBC, you're going to have to turn in gold cards, right? So what kind of stuff are we going to be looking for? I think these this SBC is going to probably require at least three, maybe even four 86 rated squads. 86 is right around 10,000 coins at the moment. Um, again, you're going to want to focus on all of these 86s. Stock them in the club. 9,000 coins right now isn't the cheapest thing ever for these 86s. They have been a little bit cheaper, but it's not too bad. Actually, this is pretty cheap. 86 rated cards, especially Parejo for under 10,000 coins. That's actually not a too bad of a deal at the moment. So I would say get as many 86s as you can. Excuse me. Let me not say it that way. Stock your club full with 86s at 10,000 coins. This Verratti card, uh, let's say Di Maria or Tiago Silva win. This would definitely be a card you'd want to have in your club. Try to get him under 10,000 coins. Uh, let me see if I can go snag one myself right now, actually. Mr. Marco Verratti, not a special version. Let's see if we can get him for like under 10,000 coins. 
There's a few of them. Um, uh, some of the best times to pick up these golds is probably going to be during squad battle rewards. Um, this Sunday night, I would say, is a really good chance. Look at this, 9,900 for Verratti. I'm going to send him to the club. There's a little player of the month investment for me right there. That's a good solid one. And again, you're just going to want to take a look through the rest of these 84, 85, and 86, maybe a couple 87s and 88s as well. And make sure you get the French guys. Make sure you pick up yourself a Kalor Navas. 14,000 coins is cheap. Casemiro, 14K is cheap. A lot of these cards are cheap. Even Cavani at 20K is not too bad of a pickup because he is PSG. Uh, Di Maria as well, 11,000 coins. Icardi at 6K. Try to get some of these PSG guys, or if they're French, maybe a Ruffier, even Depay for being League One. Try to focus your... Uh, if you're going to invest in a gold card for this SBC, um, do that. But I would say the best thing to do is probably just club stock the 85s. Uh, actually, start with the 86s and the 87s. Some of the 84s and 85s are inflated right now because of the SBCs that we have out in the game. So start with the 86s, start with the 87s, maybe an 88 or so. Stock them in your club and get ready for that. Again, I've heard people asking, are they going to require Ben Yedder's card? Are they going to require Ben Yedder's card or Ben Yedder's inform? I honestly think they're not going to require either. Ben Yedder's gold card is like, what, 4,000 coins right now? Is it really 4K? He is under 5,000 coins for this Ben Yedder gold card. What a freaking steal, by the way, for a starter team. But uh, they're not going to get anything from requiring a 4,000 coin card. I mean, and if they do require his inform... Uh, then the SBC is going to be way, way, way too expensive unless there's one SBC and you have to turn his inform in for it. That would be crazy. I don't think his inform has enough supply and that would be a great way to tick off the FIVA community if they did that. So if you're in Ben Yedder's inform, if you have Ben Yedder's player of the month, it almost is a lock for him to win. I wouldn't say it's a lock, but I'd say like a 75% chance. Um, I just don't know how the voting is for the turnout of this SBC, like the Premier League uh, Player of the Month, we have a 10% vote, the fan vote. I don't know what the vote is for League One. So if you guys know, drop that in the comments because I would love to know that. I search on the internet and I cannot find it. But um, yeah, basically, whichever way this ends up, and it's going to end up probably with Ben Yedder, focus on the French guys, focus on the PSG or the League One players. And again, that's what they've been acquiring for all these SBCs is players from the same nationality and the same uh, league that the SBC winner is from. So Di Maria, 10,000 coins. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to chuck into my club, see what happens. Some of the informs are low. Again, we can look at a few of those informs really quick. Um, Lecompte as well. Um, he's been somebody that was very inflated um, after the Ben Yedder was nominated. A lot of people went out and they bought this card. To be honest with you, it's been kind of comical to see this card rise and fall as an SBC investment. Uh, this Lecompte card, I have one in my club. I bought one when he was in packs. He's actually my keeper in my team. This card, I'm going to show you on Footbin because this is actually pretty funny. Benjamin Lecompte, 84 rated. Take a look at this graph and you can tell there's a lot of investing that's going on with this card. 12,000 coins before Ben Yedder gets nominated. Ben Yedder gets nominated. This man goes shooting up 17K a couple days ago. People are anticipating this SBC coming out, and he drops off a cliff today, down to 15K. He was actually at 13,000 coins in all the panic today. People selling off their investments and getting coins um, to do whatever they needed to do today, do the Joe Gomez SBC or open packs or whatever they were doing with their coins today. But um, it's back up at 15K already. Um, I'm honestly not too big of a fan of this. I mean, if you're going to, if there's going to be an inform requirement, you probably can get away with any other inform that is not league one. So if you want to invest in some 84 rated informs as well, um, to be honest, the very cheapest one right now, I believe is Berg, Bergwin, Steven Bergwin. Uh, remember this card when he was like 30 K, uh, no longer. I think he's down here like 12 K, right? Oh, he's not. That was an undercut on footman that I saw then. So yeah, right there, you saw one on an open bid. This is what you can do with these cards. Get on open bids for the 84 rated informs. Try to get them at like 12,000 coins. Uh, and Kulu is a really solid inform investment, in my opinion. Center back from the Serie A. He's going to link to a lot of cards. He's going to be very easy to get some, some soft links from in an SBC if you need some chemistry um, to some higher rated players in the Serie A. So 12K for this card is not too bad, in my opinion. He's going to be an SBC beast. He also has in-game value. I mean, it's a solid card. So... 
Get some 84 rated informs, get some 82s, 83s, get your League One players, get your French cards. Make the simple investments, and if they require something crazy, you'll worry about that later. But I don't think that really what else can they require? Informs, high rated golds, and they can put a brick slot in the SBC that'll make it harder to do. So that's how I think you can focus on the Ben Yedder Player of the Month. Again, if Ben Yedder somehow, somehow does not end up winning, that's why I mentioned invest in the Di Maria, get the Verratti, get the PSG players that are, or the other French um, league, league one players, because uh, you're going to see some panic selling on this inform as we get closer to the player of the month date. And some people are going to be blindsided by it. So you see him winning player of the month. If you see an announcement on Twitter, when you see the SBC come out, you're probably going to see some market panic with some sell-off on the OTW and some sell-off on the inform. That's a secondary thing. If you guys don't want to do the player of the month, if it comes out and it's 600K, but there's panic selling on the OTW and there's panic selling on the inform, let's say the inform drops like 50 to 100,000 coins, um, as long as the SBC is pretty expensive still, that could be a definite buy opportunity. If you still want to have Ben Yedder in your team, um, I would say look to maybe get rid of your Ben Yedder card this weekend because I do think that that SBC will be coming on Wednesday of this week or Thursday. So Wednesday or Thursday, I think we'll see the Ben Yedder hype train during uh, the week. So I wanted to give you guys a few days to kind of get ready and to get invested for it with this video right here. So if you think this helped you at all, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about investing for League One Player of the Month. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.